Hey everybody, Fred here from plcgurus.net. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to go out and show you where you can get the necessary tools that you're going to need to follow along in this video tutorial. So in the last video, I told you we were going to be making use of the C Sharp programming language, which means we're going to be using Visual Studio uh, 2017 Community Edition, as well as the InGear NetLogix drivers that's going to provide us with the necessary APIs in order to communicate to our control logic processor or PLC. So in this video, I want to show you where you can go out and get those tools, get them installed on your machine so you're ready to go and we can get started in this video series. Okay, so the first thing I'll have you go out and get is the Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition and you'll want to go to the download uh, website for that and again we're going to use the free community edition which is free for students uh, open source contributors and individuals so you'll go ahead and download that and no we don't want to take the survey and you'll save that to your machine click save and that will download and you're going to want to run through that installer so that installer will take some time it's it's very straightforward to install it You'll want to choose the uh, C Sharp as your, your language of choice. And it's, like I say, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't think we need to spend any time doing that. The next thing I want to do after you've installed Visual Studio is you'll want to head on over to the SimQuest InGear website. And this is where we are going to download the Net Lo NetLogix uh, drivers that will allow us or allow our C Sharp application to communicate to a Control Logics PLC. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on their website. And I mean, you can poke around here. Um, we're interested in the .NET products. And again, for Logics controllers, compact, that means Compact Guard Logics, Soft Logics, any Logics platform controller, you'll want to download the NetLogix drivers. So they do have other driver packages for other PLC vendors. Um, the AB Link is for the Slick 500 platform and some of those older legacy type controllers. Uh, but again, we're interested in the net.logix uh, driver package here. Okay, so, there is, so they are on version seven. I don't actually have version seven. I'm gonna be working with version five. Uh, however, you can download the latest to just get going and try it uh, by clicking the get free trial button here. And they do give you, I wish it was a little bit longer, it's only a, a 10 day trial. And I think if you email them, they will uh, extend that trial. Just say you want to use the product a little bit longer before you decide whether you want to buy it or not. Um, however, it is free to try for a full 10 days. You have to put in your information and then it will allow you to download the installer package. So I already have the installer package. So maybe what we'll do is we'll walk through that installer and how to actually license your product okay when you actually do buy the product okay so let's just close that you'll go ahead and download yours and we'll just get back to it in a second here okay so i'm in my downloads folder and you can see i have two exe files here so one of them is the netlogix uh, driver installer package and the other one is the license package so i'm going to go ahead and install the netlogix 5.0 exe the, the driver package itself first. And we'll click next. I accept the terms, yes. And we'll click the install button. So this is take a, a few minutes. Um, it does install a bunch of demo projects that I do wanna go over with you. Um, they are kind of useful to get you up and running quickly to see how to, the connections work, how to read and write tags. So I think there'll be a good at least a good starting point for us to get going. Um, so this is why it's probably taking a little bit more time than it normally would just for the low-level drivers that it's installing behind the scenes. Okay, so it looked like it completed successfully. So now what I wanna do is I wanna launch the license file. So that's gonna install the license manager for us. And I'm gonna click next and install and it asks do you want to register and activate NetLogix license now 
So again, if you purchase the software, I mean, I'm just gonna actually close this now. We don't need it open anymore. So I'm gonna choose yes. So it's gonna launch, launch the license manager. And this is where you're gonna put in your information that was emailed to you from InGear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in mine just so we can go ahead and activate this software. Obviously this is sensitive information, which is why it's blurred out. And for serial number, and again, you will get an email when you purchase the software from InGear itself. And it does ask for your order number, and we'll stick that in there as well. And I'll just choose activate because I'm online, and I'm just gonna go ahead and register. So that's just gonna take a minute. And with any luck, it should say that it has been activated. And you can see here, it is activated. So we're all good. So the NetLogix uh, 5.0 in my case has been installed on this machine. So now we can start using those DLL files, those libraries in our CSARP applications. And I'll show you in subsequent videos how we actually license those as we deploy them to the field. Okay, so I think, you know what, I think that's enough for this video. This is a short video, I just wanted to get everything installed. And in the next video, we'll take a look at the install directory and the demo projects that it actually installed for us. And we'll load those up into Visual Studio and we'll start doing some, some playing around with the demo projects that are there, get it connected to a PLC that hopefully you have set up in your lab environment and we can start actually doing something. So again, I hope you found this video informative and be sure to check out our companion site over at https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net and become what is quickly becoming one of the fastest growing online communities of professional engineers, technicians, and technologists who all share a passion for industrial automation and control systems. So hit that subscribe button, give it a like, give me a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.